Hey everybody, welcome to the Random Game on Shrinking. If you're new to this channel, one of the things I like to do is to open up old sealed games and see what's inside, because I believe that games are meant to be played, not to be kept in sealed packages for investing or whatever else. Games are meant to be played. So if you believe in that as well, and this sort of thing interests you, and you haven't already subscribed, please go ahead and do so and hit the notification button so you can be notified the next time I upload a video like this, which is usually about twice a week. Now, the game I have here today is called NFL Quarterback Club 96 for DOS. And there's a nice picture of Steve Young on the cover, about to be sacked by two Chicago Bears. And this is a DOS game, um, I believe, from around 1995 or 1996. Uh, it's called 96. I think it probably came out in 95. It says you're featuring the NFL's top quarterbacks and every other player that counts. And if you look on the back, there's a bunch of quarterbacks they named. Yeah, there were good quarterbacks back in the 90s. Troy Aikman, Drew Bledsoe, Randall Cunningham, John Elway, Brett Favre, Jeff Hostetler, Jim Kelly, Dan Marino, Rick Meyer. He, he wasn't so good, but he, he had some good rookie seasons. And then, of course, Steve Young, and, this, and there's probably more as well. It says here all the teams, all the quarterbacks, all the players that count. The Jaguars and the Panthers are on there. They were probably both relatively new teams at that point. I don't know when the, when the expansion happened, but it couldn't have been too much before 95. Um, supports the Gravis grip joystick. It's in the upper left. And basically, the motion, this is motion capture technology, control any NFL player, over 45 camera views. You know, so basically it's a football game. <laughs> it looks like American football, I should say. It looks like it's probably a good one. And it has both the NFL license as well as the NFL players license, which was a big thing back at that time. Until the times when EA basically got all the licenses exclusively and, and you know, ate all that stuff up. And now... Well, basically, you could buy his Madden, and they stopped making it for the PC. But back in the in the 80s and the 90s, there were so many different football games out there. And this is one of them, although not many of them actually had both the NFL license and the NFL players license to have all the real players and teams. So without further ado, let's open it up. This thing is, is torn here. You can see on the front. Um, and the box is a little bit crushed, but it definitely feels like original shrink wrap. I, I don't have any concerns that it's not at all. Uh, but I'm not going to want to keep the shrink wrap on because the shrink wrap has compressed the box a little bit. You can probably see, um, I hope you can see it, like from sort of head on, the box is sort of sunk in and it's out of the corners, but sunk in, in the middle because the shrink wrap's compressed it. So someone's gone ahead and ripped it a little bit for us. Let's use that just open the rest of the way. And let's see what we have in here. This is an older game. Also, not as old, but older from the 90s, so... Maybe there'll be something inside. It feels a little bit heavy. Hopefully not just like a big empty space. Team NFL. Let's see what we got in here. All right, so there's some kind of cardboard insert like usual. Oh, there's a bunch of stuff. All right, cool. It's probably a big manual. Oh, wow. All right, cool. There's a lot of stuff in here. This is what I like to see. So that's it. I've emptied it out. Um, but what do, we, what do we got here? We have a warranty registration card from a claim we have a poster you know i'll save this for last there's a cd that's not sealed it's in a there's no the, the manual's here so there's no manual in the front here there's no front insert but that's fine we got a side insert we have a back one so it's easy for display if you want to put it in a, in a cd rack and the cd itself looks you know a little bit of dust on it but definitely looks clean and unblemished uh we got a manual big one a nice WrestleMania arcade game out of the back. What do we got here? All right, it's a black and white manual. It looks like it's 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 made for these Gravis game pads, which is pretty cool. Uh, a lot of instructions, pretty long because it looks like there's a lot of stuff you can do here. Probably there's some arcade action as well as also some you know ma team managerial stuff and calling plays and, and things like that. So. Probably if you want to play this game well, you actually have to read a lot. And here's the quarterbacks they have here. Oh, wow, Bubby Brister. <laughs> he was terrible. Oh, man. So, I guess they got bad ones here, not just the good ones. Boomer Sison, he was good. Jets, Jets have him, as well, it looks like, also. I think he was on the Bengals, wasn't he? I don't remember anymore. He was on the Jets at one point, but not for very long, maybe for like one season. Uh, about Bernie Kosar, the Dolphins, as well as Dan Marino. Warren Moon, he was really good. Anyways, they have a bunch of quarterbacks. And then let's put this aside. What else we got here? NFL merchandise catalog from Acclaim. That's interesting. I wonder if the NFL made them include this since they for the for the license. It's like, hey NFL, we'll give you, you know, 
<laughs> we'll put this thing in here if it gives us a discount on the license. So you can get an Emmett Smith jersey. You can get a uh, Warren Moon signed helmet. You get a Favre jersey, etc., etc. Carolina Panthers again. Look, Dan Marino's wearing a Dan Marino shirt. That's pretty uh, meta, right? That's pretty cool. What if you can still buy this today for the same price? And then we got this poster, which I didn't open before. It looks pretty big. Well, it's not that big, but it's not bad here. It has, it's called Hyper Audibles. And it says here, basically, here's all the different, I guess, plays you can call on all the audibles. Yeah, you can, over 50 available plays. To call for a Hyper Audible, press the A button. So obviously it's meant for a joystick, but, or a gamepad. That's pretty cool. And this way you can put this like sort of on the wall and refer to it if you want while you're playing the game. So looks like a really cool package. Definitely more than the usual in here. And I'm going to try to play this up right now, load it up and see what it looks like. When I was about to load up the game, I all of a sudden noticed in the box there was one more thing hiding in here. It's this technical supplement that has copy protection information. You have to have the CD in the drive, manual addendum, a few more things, troubleshooting. Nothing too exciting, but did want to at least show it for posterity in case uh, someone thinks I was missing something. So without further ado, let's go to the actual gameplay. So here I am here running uh, NFL Quarterback Club 96 for DOS under DOSBox. Now this game runs okay under DOSBox, provided you set it up properly. It uses a weird um, high resolution Super VGA mode, and because of that, you need to set the DOSBox machine type to VESA Visa underscore old VBE. That's VESA underscore old VBE. And I'll put that in the description section of the video. If you use that machine type, it'll work fine, pretty much. If you use uh, any, the default, basically, it will not run. So you got to play around with it a little bit. This is opening video. It's pretty choppy, actually. But it's, you know, nice and uh, upbeat and gets you, like, in the mood for playing a football game. I'm going to go ahead and skip it. Anyway, it slows down when it reads with the CD. So you have a choice here, play or simulation. Um, simulation lets you play like a bunch of uh, like historic games, for example. Um, let's say you know, 1988 Broncos versus Raiders. Oh, they, they made a whole bunch up too. At the end, there's like, um, I noticed, uh, there's like January 1999 Super Bowl championship with Packers and the Chiefs. And uh, I mean, th this game came out before 1999, obviously, so they made that up. So you can do that, or you can um, actually play play a game. And if you do that, you have a choice. You can play basically the whole season, uh, playoffs, etc. I'll just pick a new season for now. And you can pick your team. So the Cowboys, basically the 49ers are the two best teams because uh, that's the, that was the situation. <laughs> the Cowboys won the Super Bowl in 96. So the, the 49ers won it in 95, or is it the other way around? It's either Cowboys have Aikman, Emmett Smith, Deion Sanders, Michael Irvin, a really good team. Unfortunately, like my Jets pretty much sucked. Even with Boomer Esiason as the quarterback, and Bo Lewis is a really good uh, you know, defensive back. The fact they have Nick Lowry on here, who was the kicker, as one of the key players, will show you that the Jets weren't doing too hot that year. But again, the other good team is the 49ers, if I can get to them. Yeah, they had Steve Young, Jerry Rice, etc. So I'll pick the 49ers. I have no idea to play this. I'm not going to spend the time reading the whole manual. I, I sort of found, I played a little bit that, uh, how, do I, how do I do this here? Uh, enter, continue, okay. I sort of found out when I played this before that uh, if you, on defense I could do okay, but on offense I, I just don't have no idea how to control it. Um, I think space bar, the arrow keys move your guy around. I think space bar lets you, uh, it's epic tails. Tails it is. I guess I'll receive. I just have no idea how to play, so you're just going to feel the game, but uh you won't necessarily have any idea if I'm really good or not, because I think I can actually read the manual, you know, a little bit and sit down. It's always a pretty thick manual and get the hang of this thing. So, okay, uh, I got a choice between cross block, quick D, or cross... I don't know what this even means. Did they have to kick it off to me? Oh, and now I, I ran out of time to select the play and just went on its own. But anyway, I noticed that DOS, for some reason, like... The actual gameplay is like a different resolution than, than all the menus. So like you saw the resolution change just now, and now it's like showing you know lesser, basically the whole screen resized. And now the screen got bigger again when it went to the play selection. So I don't know what I'm doing here. I'll just pro set, short yardage, 
Uh, I'll try a, uh, a hook out. I don't know what the hell I'm doing. They have a choice to flip play, start play, or no huddle. I will start play, I guess. But yeah, I'm. I know you can pass the ball. Like press, I think space bar controls everything. But there's a lot of nuances here I'm missing for sure. Uh, like that was it because I just threw the ball out of bounds. I don't know what the hell I just did there. Obviously, I didn't try to do that. Let me try one more time. Shotgun. Uh, I'll say long. I'll do a long curl. Start the play. I mean, that was not. That was not good. It's gonna end up like a safety or something. <laughs> Okay, let's come on, let's do it this time. Throw the ball, throw the ball, throw the ball. <laughs> what happened? What happened? What happened? Alright, Steve Young just tacked for an 11 yard loss. Right, I'll try one more time. Long yardage. I have different plays this time, I don't know why. Because I, have, because I did a pro set instead of a shotgun. Alright, start the play. Third and 21. <laughs> this is not looking good for the 49ers. No, throw the ball. No, I couldn't even throw it. All right. Well, you see what happens when somebody has no idea what they're doing, plays this game. And uh, I guess now I kick it, they kick it off to me again, or I kick it. I don't know what just happened even. I'm confused. I guess I got the kickoff again. Or they, no, I kick. Ah, uh, who knows? I'm confused. <laughs> it's it's late in the evening here, and uh, I'm forgetting how to play football. Just uh, Usually that used to be such a big blowout. But anyway, that's that's enough to get the sense of the uh, the gameplay, and uh, you know, you can play it on your own and check it out. But I'm curious if anybody's actually played this game, what you thought of it, if you have fun with it. It looks like it could be a fun game if you actually spend the time to uh, just you know learn the rules and everything else. But if you like this video, please uh, do hit the like button. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Please comment and let me know what you think of it. And I hope you guys all have a really great day.